Doing great. <clears throat> so, I want to show you all this knife here. Now, this was one of the first knives I made, and I before I even put a, a drain hole in the sheath or anything. So, yeah, I got to repress this sheath. I reground this knife. It was super thick. And I added a little bit more of a recurve to it, and then I added a switch grind on there. But the edge bevel was just so thick, it couldn't cut nothing. Now I got it all nice and thinned out. I think it's 3 16 thick. And it's uh, made from a leaf spring. Then it has mahogany handles. That I did like a black or dark walnut dye or stain on the handle. So made it look kind of old and rustic. Yeah, this is one of the very first knives I made. There's no stamping on it, there's no nothing. Before I had the stamps, before I even had a, a forge or quench tank or anything, I was using that propane weed burner torch to heat up the steel and quench it in an old oil pan, so yeah. I cleaned it up a bit. I mean, it's not like perfect. There's still, you know, some boogers around where I can't exactly get to, you know. So, anyway, just want to show you all that. And then there, um, I have another one here too, I'll show you. You'll get more of an idea of how that one was. This is, uh, one I had made for somebody they decided they did not want after I made it. So I'm going to regrind this one as well and make this finger notch here bigger because it's not, it's not big enough. This one has a red oak handle though. I don't know what kind of stain is on there but that'll probably get changed up anyway. So this one's quarter inch thick with like a scandy grind and it's just, I mean it's so thick. You can cut stuff with it, but it doesn't cut very well, you know? It's just way too thick. It'd be a great little skinner. Get this finger groove bigger and then, I don't know, do like a full flat grind on it or something. It'd be great for skinning, probably. So, I'll end up redoing this one, but you can see, like the finish on here is only like 120 grit. And, and I had to hand sand everything and it didn't. I tried to polish it up the edge with the stones and everything else and it just did not come out how I wanted it because this was before I even had higher grit belts. My highest grit belt was only 120 grit. So, yeah. And I was using scrap wood for the handles. That's why they all have wood handles. <laughs> but anyway. I'm gonna give this knife away. I'm gonna, um, I don't know, just comment on this video if you wanna enter the giveaway and uh, I'll let it run for like a week, I guess, and then put everybody's name in a hat, pick a, pick one, send it out. But if you want to enter the giveaway for this, Put my uh, my dog's name in your comment. His name is Harvey. So if I see the name Harvey in your comment, I will put you in for the giveaway. All right? So, so if you want this, like I said, mahogany handle, brass pins. There's no lanyard tube. Uh, like I said, but it's at least three sixteenths thick, maybe a little thicker. Little recurve, full convex grind. I still need to sharpen it up on the stones, but I gotta redo the sheath first. Because here's the sheath. Hit. Like it still clicks in there and everything, but it is so loose because of how much steel I ground off this knife. So I'm just gonna heat this up and repress it and then rewrap it for the belt loop. Yeah.
There's also a leaf spring steel, so it should be like 5160 or so, somewhere around there. So, anyway, there you go. Like I said, leave a comment with Harvey in it if you want to enter. And, uh, yeah, y'all have a good one.